we'll start with an RX NS110 streamer size 6 and Dyneema tying thread. That will just put a bit of tying thread back like this. Can't break this off, so you have to cut it. You can use GSP as well. We'll go to there. Then what we want is a tiny drop of gel super glue. I like using the gel because it stays where you put it. And then we need a, a rabbit strip, colour of your choice. And I like to trim the ends of the rabbit of the hide to a point because I, I don't only think that this gives a, a more better looking fly but it also gives a better swimming action so this wants to go on about there so what I want to do here is I want to pull the hide down each side of the hook so the hair comes around rather like a collar just go around that and then go forward, pull all that back. Make sure it's in the correct place, a little bit over that way. That's good. And then we we'll just secure this. This won't go anywhere. We ways back. There we are. That's good. That's perfect. So we'll just spin our tying thread to open that up, flatten it out. Like so. And we need some white eye stub. angel hair. I'll just put this in our loop and we'll spin this up. There we go. Just pull out the fibres in this and then we'll go close into the Zonka strip. Pull this back. I want to give this a brush, pull out the fibres, and then what I've done is I've cut two small thicker Zonka strips, and these are of Corpu. Uh, Corpu, if you don't know what that is, you can use Muscrat as well. Corpu is a large water dwelling rat nearly as big as a beaver they can be very big but you get these beautiful guard hairs that if you can see this they're thick at the top and thinner at the base near the hide so when the water takes hold of them you get a really nice action so these are a little shorter than the tail this is going to be our extended collar so one on that side and then we'll place one over here on the opposite side now these are independent so these will have independent movement as well to give the fly a kind of articulated swimming action without being articulated really we'll just go over that nice and tight one word. Check that they're in position again. And the white is there, that's good. Then what we need, split our tying thread again. And we need some red ice dubbing. I'll just put this in. Spin that up. And 
I'm going to go tight into the collar again. Brush it out, mostly on the underside. We want this to be gills. There we are. And we need to clean and stack two bunches of this is mule deer with nice marked tips for the deer her head and collar. Should be quite large bunches. We want two. Firstly, one on one side. We just hold that in position, and then we'll go once, just flatten my tying thread, once, twice, and then we'll keep in hold of the back collar. We'll just tighten that up. Good. And then our next bunch, we want this to be the same length. Yeah, tighten that up, and then we go through forward. Excellent. Go all the way. Not want to trap any hairs here. There we are. Go all the way forward. Take our whip finisher, tighten that up, another one, tighten that up, and remove the tight thread. Then we want to just brush this out so we don't have any trapped hairs or we can free up most of them if we do have any. And what we want is a razor blade. Take it out of the packet. Now if you wipe the razor blade very carefully not to cut yourself you'll remove the fat and oil from it that they put on to stop it rusting and then the hair won't stick as much to it when you cut it. So we'll bend our blade and I'll go back just take your time with this if you're not used to doing it tighten up my bias press the blade on the Hook eye and go back, turn it over, I want a kind of flat head on this, well, get in there. You can see which of the hairs have uh, still got the butt ends on. So just take it carefully. And just sculpt the head to the shape that you want. I'm 
I think that will do us a nice even head. So what we need now is we need a blob of UV resin on the underside, cover the throat like so and give that a blast. That's good and we want a drop of super glue, again the gel type there and an eye and then another on this side And that's the finished burn after fishing. Uh, Muddler Zonka fishes very well, especially <laughs> attracting big trout. If you like the videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for watching.